that I've had this cartridge about three or four years. I put it in the printer and it started printing okay and then it started printing horrendous black lines. And the more I tried to uh, clean it, the worse the situation became. Then I remembered that I had an old printer cartridge in the garage that worked perfectly but had run out of ink that I was about to uh, throw away. So I uh, decided on a solution. What I'd do is I'd drill a hole in the back of this printer cartridge and I'd drain all of the ink out of it into a polythene bag and then I plan to make a, a larger hole in the back of the cartridge that works and to uh, pour the ink into it and then seal the hole. So I use just a standard size uh, large quarter inch or so drill bit to make the hole. So now I'm emptying the uh, cartridge as best I can. It's a bit of a messy operation so I recommend you wear gloves. So this is the hole that I've drilled and I've already got quite a heavy bag of uh, ink out of it. So I'm just gonna shake it some more. Try and get every last drop I can out. I think I'm into the laws of diminishing returns now. Bits coming out, but nothing like the, the stream that was coming out. I'm doing this outside of course because this is incredibly heavy duty black ink. Okay. Of course if I open this you can see just how messy the inside of the cartridge has become. So I've placed some tape over the hole and then I've wrapped the entire thing so I'll be putting this back in a poly bag. I've recovered about 198 grams of black toner so that should keep my printer going for some time. Now what I need to do is to cut a bigger hole in the other HP cartridge and get the toner in it. So it looks like this technique will work for the HP LaserJet 5, 5P, 5MP, 6P and 6MP. First thing I'm going to do is to stick to some paper across here. It's easier to stick to paper afterwards than it is to stick to the plastic. Extremely sticky label and put that across there. And now what I need to do is to drill a hole in there. So I'm going to start with a uh, with a small drill and then I'm going to open it up manually with a, a much larger drill. So there's a the standard size hole and I'm going to open it up with this manually larger and I'll try not to drop any bits inside. Luckily it's quite a soft plastic. So we have a, a nice large hole in place and now cut the corner off my uh, my bag. What I'm going to do now is to uh, cut a small hole in the corner and insert in there a uh, piece of plastic tube and then tape around it to make sure it's well and truly stuck and hopefully fill it up. Now I'm doing this in small sections and then um, checking to see how full it is. I can actually see all the toner going in there. So now what I need to do is to put the label back on, stick over the hole, make sure it's well stuck and then put it back into the printer. That's the hole fully blocked. I'll clean up the cartridge, uh, give it a shake and then uh, run some test prints. 